Now to some other storms. A fox on top of two of them bearing down. One could keep millions of Americans from getting to their Thanksgiving destinations on time. And the other healthcare website that's still looking like it won't be ready anytime. These guys may miss their turkey. This guy is just stuck for now with the turkey. A lot more in the storm bearing down on the East Coast in just a moment. First, the storm building at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue right now because the president has just four days to get his website into shape. And guess what? It ain't happening. Administration officials now say come December 1st, some visitors to healthcare.gov will still experience outages, slow response times, and try again later messages. And that is making a lot of Democrats very nervous, especially when a new poll shows that they're losing their 2014 edge as the uproar over the president's health care law continues to build. To Hadley Heath on why this missed deadline could matter big time. Hadley. Hi, Neil. Of course, this uh, technological problem with healthcare.gov has created a political problem for Democrats, but it's a practical problem for millions of Americans who have still uh, f failed to uh, access the system and get compliant insurance for 2014. And I think a lot of them are discovering that once they get on, they don't like what they get on to and see. Uh, so I often tell people who are sort of talking about the problem with the website is that that's not the real story. It's a big story by far. But it's the little surprise you get when you do get on and you can sort of surf around. That's a that's a kind of a jolt. Exactly. In some ways, Democrats have, have had a relief from the technological issues because they can blame that for the slow enrollment numbers. In fact, a lot of Americans are accessing the website, they're seeing the prices, and maybe they're scared away by premium increases. For some young adults, the American Action Forum says it could be as much as a 260% increase in their premiums if they're choosing a low-cost plan right now. Or maybe they have read the stories about doctor networks shrinking, shrinking for these exchange plans because reimbursement rates that are too low. You know what I, I wonder about, too, when obviously a number of Democrats are saying, Mr. President, you got to do something about this, or, they're, you know, they're, they're now, you know, party company with him on this, and then so much else, that they are clearly reading these polls that for the moment seems to show a complete reversal in the fortunes for next year's election. Still a long ways away, but the wind is no longer at Democrats' back, and that is something they fear could build as companies down the road start jettisoning their workers, right? Right. Well, Democrats were feeling pretty good after the government shutdown was Absolutely. resolved because they felt that the shutdown reflected poorly on Republicans. But then when the news stories broke about millions of health plans being canceled for individuals, those individuals, especially if their plans terminate on December 31st, have until December 23rd to enroll without any gaps in their coverage. And that creates a problem for Democrats, especially facing those tough midterm reelections in 2014. So you betcha they're concerned. Hadley, thank you very, very much. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you.